Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, earthquake news, tropical storms, and three excellent papers as the time to accelerate exodus from major cities may be at hand, and we start with the last 24 hours on our star. Limb eruptions continue, and the coronal hole turns through center disk. It'll be Wednesday or Thursday when its amplified solar wind arrives. Expect at least minor geomagnetic activity and a continued watch for the active regions and plasma filaments. The solar wind is expected to remain quiet today. Let's move on next to seismicity, where those two big quakes in Afghanistan were devastating. Over 2,000 people reported dead with entire villages destroyed. Utterly brutal photos if you care to check them out online today. Bit of an update on the twin tropical systems off the Mexican coastline. One is now expected to accelerate to landfall later today. That would be Storm Max, while Storm Lydia is still slated to make impact tomorrow. Hopefully everyone nearby is prepared and the storms take a bit of mercy on them. Up first in the articles today, we find an excellent study on how magnetic sense in animals is still profoundly lacking in full understanding. This hits the topic of ultra sensitivity not being completely charted out and also the vulnerability of several key aspects of the food chain to Earth's currently shifting magnetic field. Up next is an excellent one on ferric iron inclusions on the moon, found almost exclusively in the glass beads. The paper presumes impact or genesis, but can't explain several key features or observations, and as we've said before, that's because it's not from meteorites. It's from solar blasts. Remember, pretty much every significant way we view the sun by satellite is looking at ionized iron in the corona. That is what gets blasted away. Last but not least is a good article on the survival of creatures during major extinction events. Turns out that perhaps what scientists had previously believed is not the case at all. We've got the specialized and advanced species with enhanced survival probabilities. Golf clap for that one. We're less than one week away from our next Observer event. Come see the Big Burb and chat with Rocky and me. Tickets found at the link below and we'd love to see you out there. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.